this is how you set a default font for our game. All right, so here we have our fontget.com and we have a bunch of gaming fonts. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different fonts. We have Among Us, we have Vampire Wars. There's even like God of War up there, um, but I'm going to do press start 2P. This is a pixelated font. All we can do now is press uh, download font. It will download, we'll get a zip file, as you can see right next to my head. I'm gonna open this up. And usually what you would do, I'm gonna close that. Usually what you do is just download this and install it. We don't need to do that because we're making a game. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna actually take this guy and just drag it in. And as you can see, we now have press start 2P. So what we can now do is go to a new resource. Where is it? New resource. We search up font. Now we see a bunch of things. We have font file, font variation, and font uh, system font. What we're gonna do is font variation. And we're gonna click this and we're just gonna name it whatever we want. I will do press start. Yeah, we'll just do press start. And as you can see, the base font is empty. So we're gonna fill that in. We're gonna take our press start and pop that in right there. And so now as you can see, the on the top, we have one, two, A and a bunch of other words. So what we can do is we can go to theme override for our label. So in our label, we just have a label in a panel. We have a, uh, everything centered. So if I type stuff in, you can see um, a bunch of words and that's the default font. But what we can do is we can go to fonts in theme overrides and we can drag this press start here. And so now you can see that it defaults to that. However, I want to default it so that every label I add does that. So what we can do is go to project settings it open on my other screen. That's very strange. Project settings. Uh, okay, there we go. It's all right. So we go to filter settings. We search up font. And in GUI, uh, we have fonts. We also have themes, but we're going to go to font, I believe, for now. Um, do, 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 where is it? Sorry, it's in theme. So interesting enough, it's not in font. We're gonna go to font or theme. And as you can see, we have custom. This is going to be a custom theme, but that's not what we want. We wanna uh, default the custom font. So we can actually go here and we just select the press start now. And as you can see, it says we have to restart. So we can save and restart. And it will now restart our game. And as you can see here, we have the font that we wanted, but the custom font is not set. And so if I were to add another label, so if I add a label here and I just say, this is a default font. As you can see, I butchered the word completely, but it defaulted to the default font that we have. So that's a very cool way to default the font in our Godot settings. Um, and that will kind of save you a lot of time. So I hope you guys learned something from that. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, definitely check out my channel. I have a lot of um, uh, videos like this, uh, very short content. So definitely check it out. Um, if you guys would like to see more of it, um, or want me to make more of it, um, definitely subscribe, like, and comment down below. Uh, I would love to see what you guys think about these this like series I'm doing. Um, I will also be making a tower defense series, but 3D soon. Um, I have a 2D series, so definitely check that out. Um, I also have a Twitch. Uh, go follow my Twitch. Um, I'm going to be streaming later today, actually. So if you see this video up, like within release time. Um, definitely go check out my Twitch. Um, I should be streaming later today. Um, I also have uh, a Discord, so definitely check that out. Uh, that'd be awesome if you guys could join. And I have a Patreon. Um, you don't have to sub or anything, but that'd be awesome and it would help me a lot. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.